Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to show you how to load balance Java e microservices. And in order to load balance a microservice, we will first uh, have to create one. And um, I would like to use a minimalistic uh, Maven project with a view lines of POM, POM XML. And I would like to call the project Duke and it will be just a single resource. Should be enough for demonstration purposes. Oh. Dockerfile is also nice, but I would like to have a single resource and the resource is called Duke resource and is going to be exposed as Duke and a single method get get return HA Duke with some timestamp to make the output dynamic and uh, what we have here. We have a docker file in the root, which is nice because then we can say, I would like to inherit from Airhex Payara server. So if you prefer to use Whitefly, put Whitefly or Tommy here. And we don't need any command. What we need is to copy the uh, file and the file is hopefully in the folder target, uh, duke.war. We can rely on it because of uh, Java conventions or Maven conventions. And the deployment there is deployment there. Okay, looks nice. So let's try to build this. So um, I would like to change Duke and say Maven uh, install. And after this, Docker build minus T, airhex Duke dot. And this will perform a fresh build and create a Docker image. So now it's done and we can start the Duke. And before we did this, um, I would like to create a Docker network and uh, Docker network create and let's call it HA year or just HA Docker network create or better LB. So we have a fresh network, docker network ls, and we have the load balanced network. So what we need right now, we need the load balancer itself. And um, what happened was I created the, um, there the, the image is already available in Docklands and it's called HA proxy. So if you go to Docklands, and we look for HA proxy. There is already an image called HA proxy here. And this is a simplistic image. It just installed HA proxy. So, uh, but more interestingly, there's another image called HA proxy pink. And if we look at that here, what it does, it inherits from Airhex HA proxy and adds a configuration file. So uh, let's copy this. This could be nice. Uh, we could use it here and paste it here. Paste. So HA proxy, and I would like to rename it to HA proxy Duke. Duke. Okay. So now looks good. So we have uh, from Ahex. This this looks nice. The build I would like to not name it HA proxy pink rather than HA proxy. Duke is the only change. And the configuration is interesting. So what you can see here, that the uh, server pink uh, uses pink 1, 80, 80 check and uh, pink 2. So there is not a pink service rather than Duke service. So what I would like to do is to change it to uh, Duke 1, Duke 2, and they are going to be container names. And here I would use also Duke 1 and Duke 2. So, and both are exposing the port 8080, or not exposing, this is the internal exposed 8080 port. So what we have to do now is to launch the uh, two containers, one with the name Duke 1 and another one with the name Duke 2. And of course, build the image. So let's build the image first. HA proxy Duke and uh, just use the NAS1 script. Um, so 
so is built and now what we can do we can run minus net minus minus net in load balancer and i would like to run in detach mode and without port mappings and the name is going to be duke one from air hex duke so the first image is started and the second image is started and then i can run in the same net in detach mode name hi proxy and now i'd like to expose the internal port 8080 8080 and let's take a brief look uh, the start port is 8989 8, so just use the same 8989 8989 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, and the image name was i think aj proxy duke so it looks good just start this so what should happen right now we, if we go here to curl HTTP localhost and we use the load balancer port and say duke we get a response the Doc document has moved which is a good sign because it's redirected and what we get here is a not found because we also need resources duke so the load balancing part already works and now we get ha duke and we get another ha duke but this should be different servers so let's see whether it actually works so what i would like to do is to open the browser and go to localhost 8989 and i think starts <laughs> So, and what you can see here, we see the stats of both servers. So, the stats, there is one request for Duke 1 and one request of Duke 2. So, and if I will invoke it a couple of times, you will see there are uh, Duke 1, Duke 2, and there were total requests there. There are evenly not, not sessions um, requests. And... Um, What's interesting now, what happens if I kill a service? So docker kill, duke one. And as you can see, duke one is yellow, so it's no more available, but this works flawlessly. And this is now red, means it is disabled. And I will just remove the Duke one, the Duke one, and they run the Duke one again. And then is yellow and green, everything back to normal. So we even get a dynamic behavior. So what we could do with that? We could introduce a new version in running system, even if you, if you like. And this works as desired. And if we go here to doc logs, logs duke one, you see the output from the Payara first one, and this is the second one. So um, load balancing of Java E microservices works pretty well. You don't need any additional software or management software, just plain Docker and HR proxy is enough. And thank you for watching. If you're interested in Java E microservices, uh, check out the um, Java e microservices course online and in Munich and see you on upcoming conferences, workshops, projects or whatever Java related. So thank you for watching and bye.